the afternoon of October 26, 2018, Calvin Castine in beautiful downtown Shazy at a location that's uh, hosted a hardware store for well over half a century. But for the past half decade or so, it's been Poirier's true value here. And uh, if you've driven by here in the last six to eight months, you saw a whole lot of expansion going on. They've been operating out of their new uh, expanded digs for maybe a month or two. And today on this bright and sunny day, they're having an open house and inviting customers in to, uh, to enjoy the festivities. I've got a jacket on and a sweatshirt. I guess if you're as tough as Chad Poirier, you just need a short sleeve shirt to just... <laughs> he must be a lot tougher than I am. As this kind of weather, I like to uh, dress warm. So it's a grand opening event, and it's happening right here, right now. And while we're here, we're also going to go upstairs and see if uh, Jess Poirier is around. She was having something today, too. I'm not sure if that's still going on or not, but... We'll see if something's happening with JP Science before we leave. Okay, we've handed the camera to Judy, saying goodbye to the town supervisor from Denimara, Bill Chase, I guess that's his name. William Chase, town all the way from Denimara to come here yeah, just, all the way up to, just to get a hamburger. <laughs> And here's that guy with no jacket on, the toughest guy in the Tough. neighborhood. Yep. <laughs> well, I figure if I didn't have a jacket, we'd be fast, right? <laughs> we'll talk fast. We'll talk fast. <laughs> well, actually, I don't have a jacket on because uh, this morning I prepped myself. This morning when we came out, we were pushing the ice off the deck. That was cold. <laughs> now the sun's out here. It's not too bad. Not bad. Yeah. Getting better. Right? Absolutely. But you told me you didn't have a long sleeve to... True no. Value shirt. No, I don't. But I got short sleeve True Value shirts only. <laughs> Maybe you can go visit your sister and I she might have to make you one. Yeah, I might have to. <laughs> you can put your name yeah, on it for you. Put a name on it. It'll be all set. <laughs> I'm getting all tangled up here. Here we go. So, how long has this front part been open? Well, we opened probably uh, three months ago. Getting all the bugs worked out of it and all the kinks worked out. And Celebrating a grand opening here today. Grand opening, even though it's been open for a while. Yep. You, you thought it was time to celebrate. Before, Absolutely. Before it got really cold. Before we had to shovel the snow out of the way. <laughs> yeah. And of course, uh, this is October 26. All over the Facebook last night was a bear in a tree, and I was told it was behind yes. the building here. Yep, it got treed right behind here, on the edge of our our backyard in the soccer field. <laughs> it's pretty interesting for Shay Z here in town. <laughs> We don't know what happened to it, but the DEC was called, and hopefully yep. they uh, hopefully they shoot him yeah. out enough. They shoo shooed yeah, him, not shoot. Not yeah. didn't say shoot. No, no, shoot, <laughs> shoot, shoo, yeah. <laughs> we yeah. don't get you in trouble. That's right. <laughs> Although he would look pretty nice inside <laughs> above the mount, guns, right? <laughs> mounted there, there <laughs> yeah. you go. <laughs> well, we'll see if he volunteers to come back and do that. There's a Rainey's Repair truck going right yep. by as we speak. What a great company Rainey's Repair is, eh? <laughs> yes. Just wanted to mention yeah, that. Yeah, I know that the guy uh, founded that Rainey Poirier, he's up there in. Ellenberg now. He's, doing yeah, it. he's in Ellenberg now on another adventure. <laughs> yep. Yeah, his summertime adventure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> running that ranch side campground. Yep. So who'd you have uh, hosting the cookout today? Well, we brought our, uh, that's our cooker, company cooker. Company and, cooker. And uh, we had our company mechanic, Matt Passano, and uh, our part-time guy, Jeff Barnes. Did, oh, the, okay. did the cooking today. Oh, the guys right on the staff already. That's why yes. you hired them in the first place. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they love company parties for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The more the merrier. The more the merrier, absolutely. All right, so we can go inside and look around? Yes, think? absolutely. Right. Before we look around inside, uh, let's let Judy turn that camera up and uh, show you what's out here on in the, in the outside. You uh, have a variety of stuff that uh, I imagine will be seasonal. Yes, we have a lot of seasonal items, from grilling to wood splitting, driveway ceiling, rotating with the seasons. Yeah, that's probably in another month or so the grill, the grills will be uh, brought. Yes, inside. they're starting to die off now. All right. Okay, so true value. You've since uh, we were here for uh, the original opening here, you opened up another place in. Uh, yeah, in Plattsburgh. Uh, 
Do you know, uh, remember what year it was when you came the first time we opened the little one? The little one here? Well, whenever year you opened, that was when we were here. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know when you got here? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe Tammy knows. Tammy would know. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Tammy's yeah. the real boss, but yep, she absolutely. Chad's, Chad's the front man. I just do what I'm told. That's it. <laughs> I'm a married man, so I understand. Yeah, you understand. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to look at out here? Nice new entrance. Yep, we tried to mimic Plattsburgh. They look very, very Plattsburgh similar. Thing right out there in Route 9, about yep. uh, a mile, I'd guess, from the, the four corners there, yep. under Cumberland Head Corners. I knew it as the Grand View uh, yes. restaurant, but it was uh, owned by another outfit for the last couple, several years. Yeah, F.W. Webb's a plumbing wholesaler. Yeah, they, they moved the, on to a new location on Tom Miller, and yep. that became available, and you said, hey. Yeah, perfect spot. Yeah. Do you ever stand still? I mean, uh, uh no. I don't. No. I'd like to, but uh-huh. not really. <laughs> not very much. <laughs> yeah. It must be in your genes because your father seems to be the same yeah, way. Same He's thing. never. Yeah. So it's his fault, really. <laughs> Blame it on him, right? Well, stop wearing his jeans. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's go inside. Okay. All right, we've come through these doors and it was nice and warm once you open up that. Uh, Little door, you could uh, have a little hot house in there and grow some vegetables during the, yes. during the winter months. Yeah, we often open the inside door here and let the heat come in. Yeah. A little solar room there <laughs> yeah. works well. Yes, that's that's nice. You got a nice. Uh, that's pretty much a southern view. This is a yep. north-south road here on Route Nine. Over there. Uh, so we're inside. You got a big Hampton fellow roaming around over there. What do yep. you see here? Yep, that's my man Caleb. We brought a heat wave over today to demonstrate a few stoves. So. Uh, you got him out of Sciota? Brought him out of the city. Out of the big yep, city of Sciota. Out of the big city of Sciota. So he can uh, show off a few of his stoves and talk to people. And, and of course, he's a, he loves sales. Does he? So any sale that we could capture with him, that's what we, we got him here for. I see. Well, who's running the store today, Caleb? Um, nobody right now. We actually, yeah, we've got a sign up there today, and uh, I'm, I'm down here today. So, I mean, it's it's been going pretty good. We've seen quite a few people. Got some stoves on display. Stop on by. Be right. a great day to do it. Yeah, well, of course, in Route 22, you're pretty visible there. But here's another route that. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Right. Might as well. I mean, it's it, it helps to helps to let everybody know where we are and everything like that. And we we really uh, it's it's that time of the year. I mean, it's it's a good good uh, good time to think about getting stoves. And I mean, uh, New York State's got incredible incentive program this year on uh, putting stoves in for. Uh, for uh, fifteen hundred dollars off of stoves and things like that this year that New York State's putting out, so we've been, we've been busy. Yeah, can imagine. Yeah. That's pellet stoves and wood stoves. Yeah, pellet stoves, wood stoves, gas stoves, fireplaces. We carry electrical stoves, um, all your outdoor heating and and lighting and things like that. Yeah. It's uh, called Heat Wave, and it's right there, about a oh maybe a thousand yards a uh, thousand feet i should say from details from the corner there yeah, right from D, right next to D D meets it's eight nine six nine route 22 eight, nine, six, nine. Right. yes sir okay. uh, anything else we should know no no all that's right. uh, yeah stop on by and see me all right do you sing as good as your brother does no i do not no, no we let him do the singing <laughs> <laughs> i won't pretend <laughs> he's not the great pretender no matter no. what you've heard <laughs> Okay, well, let's go sell some soaps, yes, Caleb. Sir. Also, a pleasure to see you. Joey Good and I were there. Was it about a year ago we, yep. we saw you? Yeah, we had a blast. Yeah. I had quite a few people check it out, too. So. Oh, well, good. All right, so what you got in here, anyway? So we got a little bit of everything. A little uh, bit of everything. A little bit of everything. We got a great outdoor center here for yeah. our grills uh, and uh, fireplaces. Yeah. Uh, outdoor living's big. Outdoor living. Uh, yeah, big. outdoor living's been big this year, uh, whether it be fire pits or... Special cookers, you know, built-in things. Hot weather this year, people wanted to get outdoors. Absolutely, yeah, it's been great. It's been very good. So we have our typical hardware stuff, paint, hardware, and all that sort of thing. But we put a huge addition on here of hunting and fishing. Hunting and fishing. Yes, Uh hunting and fishing. (laughs) Tammy's trying to get in here, but she's trying not to get in here. (laughs) We saw you. We saw you. Yeah. (laughs) Well, where'd you like to take us? Yeah, so let me bring you down here so you can see what we got going on in the hunting and fishing. All right, we're going to go hunt and fish. I'm trying to figure out exactly where we are in the original store you opened. Yep, actually, in the original store, we're in the back corner 
which as people watch when it was Shazy Hardware, the ramp that came from the front part to the back part was right here. Okay. Yep. So the, the folks who knew Shazy Hardware here before, yeah, we're right at the ramp. So we've converted this into our uh, hunting and fishing section here. Okay. So this is all brand new for us. And um, we've added large quantities of uh, fishing and hunting. We brought guns in, handguns, rifles, shotguns. I imagine you have to go through a lot of uh, yes. rigmarole in order to uh, yes. be able to sell guns. Well, our lovely New York State has um, a lot of paperwork. So we've completed all that. We've got our FFL license. Uh, we can also import guns. So, of course, it's a new adventure, and we're figuring it out, and one gun at a time. All right. I'm, I'm uh, not a hunter or, or a fisherman. Uh, are, have you, do you hunt or fish or anything? That I do enjoy hunting and fishing. I don't often have a lot of time for that, mm -hmm. but uh, I do love it. I yeah, love I hunting and fishing. If you get into selling this kind of stuff, it helps if you uh, if you enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah, you, uh, for sure. You know a little bit about what the, yep. the guy that's looking to, to yep. buy it. You've got uh, what's this a little blinds. Yeah, blinds. Okay. Uh, yeah, like ground could... blinds. We got a variety of those. We got a lot of turkey hunting stuff. I could almost use that to record a soccer game. From Absolutely. Probably, yeah. yeah, sure. <laughs> a little hideout in there. Keep the wind off you. Yeah. Uh-huh. So uh, this is a separate section of the of the store. Yeah, it's all in the, in the store here, but just its own little corner. Um, okay. We've got uh, plenty of room to expand, so each and every week we keep adding a little bit. So do you keep somebody behind the counter here at all times? Yeah, we try to keep someone real close by in this area. Okay. Right. Yep. <laughs> Right, how many people do you have working here on a daily basis? Uh, on a daily basis, typically four, and there's five sometimes that overlap. Inside the store? Inside the store, yep. Yeah. So, uh, your hours? Seven in the morning to, during the week is six. Weekends are five, eight to five. Just Saturday? Sat and Sunday. And Sunday. Yeah, we're open Sundays, Sundays yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, Sunday is always somebody doing a little something. Oh, sure, yeah. It's a, Mm -hmm. The time when people uh, have time to, to catch up on their yard yes. work or their repair <laughs> yep. a shingle or whatever. The honey-do list. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you got a large variety of, of rifles. You have catalogs too if people yep. want something that Cust you don't have. Yes, yeah, so we have custom order uh, catalogs. Of course, the internet now, we keep the internet right here. So if there's someone looking for something special or specific, we can, we can definitely get that in. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so we're having raffles today. We've got to sign up for a fishing pole and a scope giveaway today. Oh, okay. So everybody's stopping in for that. Wow, yeah. And you got bows, I see. Yep, bows, turkey, hunting, all kinds of great stuff. Lures, or that type of stuff. Uh, yep. I see. Ice fishing is coming. Ice is it? fishing is really? coming. It's going to get colder? Well, I thought this. global warming, but. <laughs> Gonna get colder. I, yeah. thought, I thought this morning was cold enough. <laughs> I know. There was ice this morning, no doubt. I don't think I'd drive out in the lake on it though. No, no, not just yet. <laughs> All right, anything else in this corner, Chad? That we no, look I at? think we're pretty good here. I'd like to bring you upstairs and show you our uh, whole new addition up there. The wow. boots and clothing. And All right. Oh, it's a privilege here to be going upstairs. Upstairs. Only a few people are invited, so. Yeah, everybody's invited. <laughs> everybody who's watching should come right now and check it out. Right now. Drop what you're doing. Absolutely. Leave the TV running and go. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Okay, I'm talking without the microphone plugged in, so I'll talk a little louder here. If you're here in the store, there's where the uh, hunting and fishing equipment is back there. Here's our entrance here, and... Uh, Looks like he's got a, a family reunion going on. His mother and grandmother are here, along with the Tony and Marsha. But look here, here's this stairway that goes up and it says Red Wing Shoes. So look for this sign and head up the stairs. That's what Judy and I are going to do right now. We have made it up the stairs. And it's a, it's a good walk. It's a healthy walk. Yes. You do get that you, 10 times you. a day? I do it at least 10 times a day. So at night, if I go, I'm on my way by. If I've only been up and down five times, I stop and get another, another five. five and, yeah. That's right. That way I don't have to do a workout at home. <laughs> at least that's what you tell Tammy. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I did, I did it at the office. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, up here, I'll let Judy roam, roam around as she pleases here. Uh, apparel, what decide, made you decide you wanted to be an apparel seller? I thought it just went well with everything. The hardware store, the hunting and fishing section. So we <coughs> we got in contact with Carhartt and Dickies and uh, Red Wing Shoes, Irish Setter, Wolverine, Mux. So we brought a bunch of different lines in. All kind of goes hand in hand. So you keep somebody up here then when the store yep. is open. Some somebody, yep. one of your four somebody people up is up here. here all the yep. time. Yep. So of course this is all new for us again, but uh, trying to let everybody know what we have. Because we have a fair amount up here, and we're going to continually add to it. Yeah, we got uh, some heavy duty shirts here. Good yep. outdoor type shirts. Is it, yep. Is it mainly outdoorsy kind of yeah. quality? No, we've got some t-shirts and regular apparel. Okay. But uh, got fleet flannel line pants, regular pants, long sleeve shirts, with some t-shirts. You know, it kind of goes with the season as the seasons change. Different apparel. All right. So, clothes for men and women, I assume. Men and women. Yep. Um, outdoor boots, rubber boots. Red Wing's Red Wing's been great to deal with, um, and they've got a fantastic line. Are you wearing Red Wings right now? Yes, sir. All right. Yep. Yeah, Red Wings. And the Dickies line is very good, too. It's big. A lot bigger than I would have thought it would have been. All right, Dickies is clothing, though? Yep. Okay. Yep. And I don't know if Judy can turn and get the sign there. There's a four little windows there that allow you to keep track of your sister. If she's yeah. Make sure she's working good make over sure there, JP Signs. Yep, make sure she's doing what she needs to get done over there. But uh, she, uh, we decided to put that little see-through, so she does the vinyl and the embroidery and all that sort of thing. So people can get an idea of what yep. she's doing. and Yeah, they can watch the embroidery machine run there. But to get there, you have to leave here and just walk up the stairs yep. over there. into her part, yep. Yeah. All right, so you got a lot of jeans and uh, uh, no dress pants, so or what do you have? Uh, Stock clearance already. You just opened and you got a clearance sale. Yep, out of the end of season stuff. I see. Yep. So this would be lighter weight stuff? That lighter weight stuff. Carhartt has some pretty nice looking pants, like slacks, that aren't just work pants. Okay. And boots for the kiddies? And yep, kid boots. We have a lot of, we went both ways, a lot of kid stuff and adult things. Socks. And yep. All right, so this is a, uh, an area. Is, can, yep. can, Whole new area again, really. Can you... Uh, Realize this is it from the outside. I don't think there's anything nope. that tells you that nothing a, really yet. We're working on signage and that sort of thing outside just to let people know. Yeah, what's in here? I'm sure uh, hundreds of people have driven by here and don't really have no clue yeah, that absolutely. this is available up yep. here. Okay, yeah. anything else uh, we should look at up here, Chad? I think that's it. It gets a good general idea what we got going on. All right. Okay, we are in the paint area, and there is, that's all, is that the front wall we're looking at in that direction, or what are we looking yep, at? Yep, that's the front wall there. Okay, so we're just going to walk along the back side here, just yep. to get a view. Just get a view of what's going on in here. Like I said, uh, sometimes you see see things on Facebook, like that bear last night, and other yep. times you, you hear that uh, people are having birthdays and stuff like that. And Yes, you yeah. always hear about that sort of yeah. thing. Anybody's birthday today that you know of? There's probably a lot of people's birthday today. Is there? Yeah, I'm Anybody sure. Anybody you know? Yeah, there's a couple. Is there, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> How about when you look in the mirror in the morning? Yeah. Anybody you know? Yeah. I never really considered a birthday to be too, too much of a big holiday. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you had the party. Today. That's right, yeah. That's <laughs> Celebrate right. Celebrate your birthday. Celebrate your birthday. Well, I'm 29 today. 29. So, yeah. <clears throat> Seems like only yesterday you were in your 30s, and now you're 29. <laughs> <laughs> 29 and holding. Yeah, 29 and holding. All right, so yeah. every aisle, uh, you. Uh, what's your square footage here? In your, uh, uh, we have you about 9,500 square feet here. That's, that's a lot of stuff. It's to a lot up. of stuff to put in here, for sure. Yeah. Now how yeah. about in your Plattsburgh store? Plattsburgh store is about 7,000, 6,800. So this is larger than your Plattsburgh yep. store? Wow. Yep. All right, so every yeah, every is. single item in here is put in 
by us. And you've got to figure out what you want on those shelves. Yep, yep. True Value does a pretty good job as far as the layout goes. So you tell them how many square feet you got, and they do a pretty nice layout. Okay, but you can get products in here other than True Value, right? Yes, yep. Now, do they have products that they make and that you sell a competitor of? Does that work yeah. out? That yeah, ab too? absolutely. They have their own line, like the Master Mechanic line, Master Plumber. Uh -huh. And um, so, all many different items. They have two different lines. So they don't expect you to just adhere to what they no what they're selling. They no, no, they're fine with you know whatever you want to get in there. Is there a phone number? People want to yes. know if you got something in stock. Yep, yeah, the phone number here is eight four six 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 seven. Six 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 seven. Yep. So three sixes and a seven. Of course, 518. Yep, I know. we got to give the 518 now. Yeah, now it's, it's the old new phone system. So, uh, a lot of work when deciding what you needed on the shelves yeah. here. And yep, there yeah. was uh, several months of myself and True Value planning. They have a whole planning department. Uh huh. So. And even on the back wall, there's items here. Yeah. Yeah, there's, um, we got a pretty good variety, a little bit of everything, cover all the bases. I imagine you, uh, of course, you're in the repair business, so you yep. have spent a lot of your time in hardware stores and so on, and uh, you're probably still, if you're out of town, go to the store and oh, say, yeah, I love it. And you say, oh, maybe I should be doing yeah, that. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Tammy gets upset sometimes because we'll be passing through out of town hardware store. <laughs> and you stop in? You stop in, yeah. Check it out. <laughs> you never know. You get a good idea For of some sure. sort. Yeah, we should sell that item. Sure. Though. We should yeah. display it this way. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yep. And she thinks you're driving around on a holiday. That's right. I'm yeah. just looking for hardware stores. Right? <laughs> Women are funny like that. I know. It, I know. it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I imagine there are things in here that even Rainy's Repair doesn't use, though, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, everybody has their own method of going about things, so. There's a lot of different things in here. Okay, yeah, there certainly is. And there's certainly a lot of uh, floor space. And mm -hmm. now is it, are you, are you going to be marking your end of your... Yeah. Aisles so that people will know what to yep. expect when they go down an aisle. And yeah, we got we actually have our aisle numbers and markers coming in. Okay. Oddly enough, that's one thing that's been back ordered for several months. Huh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> didn't make a whole lot of sense, but it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yep. And if you gotta wait for a number, then you gotta wait. You gotta wait. <laughs> that's right. All right. Anything else we should look at, Chad? I think we're in pretty good shape. I want to say thank you to you for sure All right. for coming by. I appreciate that very much. Well, I got to give my friend uh, Bill Chase a hamburger, so it worked out for me. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got a hamburger. Uh, will Tammy be mad if I don't talk to her? You think? She'll probably be upset, but she might. She'll get over it. She'll probably. get over it. Yeah, okay. I think she will. <laughs> She's been running the other way when the camera uh -huh. pops out. All right, we're going to take one final shot outside, and we're going to wrap this up. Thank Excellent. you, Chad. Thank you. All right. All right, we are once again, we've been at Foyer's True Value Outdoor Center, it says. True Value Hardware here right in beautiful downtown Shazy. Just a stone's throw from George Brendler Field here on Route 9. And it's amazing what you see when you go through those doors. Obviously more than just hardware in there, and he's got a heck of a lot of hardware. So I'll wrap it up. We're gonna, I know what our next episode is going to be. We're going up to J.P. Signs and looking there. Thanks for watching this one, though. Hometown Cable, viewer-supported local television.